Alright eBayers, we're getting to our final video for today. We've worked up and we're fixing to go to our store markdown manager and create a sale. So if you can navigate to your My eBay page and scroll down to the bottom left over here you'll see uh, manage my store like on the previous video it's under shortcuts if you haven't watched the other video uh, you may have to click the edit here and add that particular link once you find that link that says manage my store under shortcuts under my ebay click on that it will take you to a new page and here is manage my store for me uh, usually uh, there's a big link here markdown manager uh, or a smaller link to the left markdown manager they both do the same thing take you to the same place click on one of them this is uh, what it looks like yours probably will not have any sales here because you probably will not have created any if you're watching this video if you have and didn't know what you're doing that's where they're stored here here's one that says uh, inactive one that says active uh, I'm gonna take this inactive one off this was one I created for some uh, motor oil uh, had a sale on um, just about a month or so ago and it says there uh, and I'm gonna delete it and it asked me to okay so anyway, if you want to create a sale, uh, this one button here, create sale, take you to this next page. Um, you can type in anything you want the buyer to see there, uh, and you know that'll show up, I believe, somewhere at the top part of your uh, your auction listing. You'll need to put the dates here. I think, uh, well, they've changed this 45 days. Uh, maximum sale length. Uh, I think it used to be uh, about 30. Gives you the choice of doing a price discount, which uh, of course auctions are excluded. Uh, offers a percentage off your original price, or you can discount the original price by a set amount or set dollar amount or 50 cents or whatever you want. Uh, this looks to be new. It says uh, free shipping. Uh, that's new. I didn't. I didn't see that last time. I usually use this one and put in a percentage amount. That's what I like. Uh, choose your listings. <clears throat> now this is uh, what we've been talking about on the last two videos. Once you get to this, you have to select. Um, how many items you want in here if you want to add all your fixed price items and your, you know all your store items uh, or you want to add uh, all active auction style listings only free shipping can be selected for auction listings okay so you can select that but I like this one I can uh, add specific categories so I can uh, add all the listings to it uh, all the categories to it or uh, this one I can select specific categories which is nice because I like discounting uh, say some of my uh, categories or items and you know within those categories a little bit more than others um, so if you don't have any categories you, you just can't do that and this may have changed but at one time I, I had so many items uh, that I, I had to create categories because eBay would not put that many sale items uh, on that many items so if you have that problem you'll you'll have to create some categories and I did I would suggest creating more categories than you need uh, look into the future a little bit create some different ones um, they're not going to show up unless you put items into that category so uh, enough about categories um, down here you can uh, send emails to anybody that may have subscribed to you um, I think is that button and then last but not least create the sale I'm not going to click on that but 
it's going to create the sale in order to uh, in order from what dates you have started it and ended it and everything else you've clicked on so that's how you do it uh, I'm gonna sh I've already got a sale I'm gonna show you what an item looks like after you uh, you know attach the sale to it so here's a three-wheeler seat that I've listed. If you look over here, it says 5% off. Uh, I'm pretty sure this safe 5% on parts and accessories is something that eBay did. Uh, it shows that the buyer would save a dollar and 75 cents, which is 5% off of the price I have listed. So it entices the buyer to um, to buy from you. Uh, I normally like to also have the make offer feature and uh, you know just kind of either bump the sale price a dollar or two so I can have that feature and, and offer it because people like myself and other eBayers just like it because they feel like they save a buck or two it's they're they're gonna buy it so try that uh, and try your sales uh, markdown manager get you some categories and uh, hopefully get your eBay sales up to where they need to be. Um, eBay is a great place. It's made me a lot of money over the years. By no means I'm rich from eBay, but um, I've definitely enjoyed it and uh, made it uh, somewhat of a living at it at times. <laughs> so uh, definitely like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have some more eBay PayPal videos in the future if you've got any questions or comments leave them below and uh, I'll try and answer them or make you a video uh, you know, to answer it better thanks